And now to a story that's developing this afternoon, a new report linking Michigan State University and a controversial volleyball coach. His, his name is Rick Butler, and he's accused of sexually abusing young girls. Local force Nick Monticelli explains how these accusations are not new, and some even date back 30 years. Nick? These allegations are nothing new. In fact, some of these assaults go all the way back to the late 90s. But what's new is this federal lawsuit that was filed a couple of months ago. And in it, there's some pretty disturbing things alleged to have happened to these victims. But what's really shocking are the allegations against Michigan State University and some victims saying they are turning a blind eye. This is the man, Rick Butler, now centered in the middle of the latest youth sports sexual assault crisis. He's been a prominent volleyball coach for decades, running training facilities in the Chicago area, one called Great Lakes Volleyball. Early this year, sexual abuse accusations resurfaced, and there's this new federal lawsuit claiming Butler has assaulted at least six underage girls, including kissing, inappropriate touching and fondling, and rape. The lawsuit, filed by a parent of an athlete, says following this initial encounter was an endless series of special practices and a variety of sexual abuse, assault and rapes in Butler's car, his apartment, and even the weight room and the gym. It also says Butler, his wife Cheryl, and GLV, among others, have actively concealed his abuses for years by pressuring his victims. But now there is new information that Michigan State University has maintained ties to Butler despite these public accusations in 1995. The Associated Press reports the school has been under pressure for at least a year to cut ties with Butler. The lawsuit alleges not only does Michigan State work with Butler and sports performance in identifying potential recruits, at least one MSU women's volleyball coach has, as a proxy of Butler and sports performance, taken an active role in denying the accusations against Butler and discouraging victims from speaking out. In a short statement, MSU says Butler is currently not affiliated with MSU in any way, adding it is not actively recruiting players from his program at this time. And it is important to know that no criminal charges have ever been filed against him. A lot of people are saying, though, that is because these victims came forward after the statute of limitations had already passed. I'm Nick Monticelli, Local 4.